Conduction, to understand how heat is transferred through conduction, here is a metal spoon in a hot cup of coffee. Let's touch the spoon handle it feels hot, this is due to conduction, the mechanism by which heat is transferred from the heated end of the spoon to the cold end over a greater length of the spoon, let's try an experiment to have a better understanding. Take a stand with an iron rod clamp to it put some melted wax on the top of the thumb pin and stick them along the length of the rod. Now light burns a burner and heats one end of the rod. We observed as the rods get heated the wax starts melting and the thumb pin began to fall off, starting with the text nearest source of heat proves heat is flowing along the length of the rod from its hotter ends to its colder ends. Let's see how heat gets transferred from its hotter end to its colder end. The microscopic view of the rod shows due to the heat of the burns and burner the vibration in the molecules of the iron rod at the end near the burns and burner increases making the end of the rod hotter these vibrating molecules collide with their neighboring molecules making them also vibrating first. This process continues until the entire rod gets heated up due to the vibrating and colliding of the molecules. The process by which heat energy gets transmitted through collusion with neighboring molecules with their actual movement from a hot region to a cold region is known as conduction. Transfer of heat in solids takes place through conduction, however, heat is transferred from one body to another by conduction only if the two bodies are in contact and their temperature are not the same. 